guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is Likita in today's video we will cover DC motors which are the which are widely used motors and most basic type of motors in today's video we will see how a motor works and we'll also demonstrate how to connect a motor to fan and also a wheel let's get started with the activity for, to, for today's activity the required components are one 25 centimeter female to male jumper wire one wheel one fan set power supply board, motor, battery and a screwdriver. This is a motor. A motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy to do some certain kind of work. Let's get started with seeing the parts of the motor. First we can see that we have terminal 1 and terminal 2 here and then if you turn around you can see a shaft here and if you notice here the shaft is not in circle. It is in D shape. Why is it in a D shape? It is in D shape so that it can get grip of the wheel or whatever the object is. Now what is inside a motor? Inside a motor there is a permanent magnet which inside the permanent magnet we have a core metal which is surrounded by insulated copper wires. Now how will, how will these copper wires help us to turn the shaft? What it will do is as we know that like as the like poles come together they ripple and they turn around which will again make a circle and once it comes to the part where unlike poles are together okay it changes the polarity using some mechanism by that attraction and repulsion turns are made let's get started practically first I'm going to show you guys how to connect the wheel to the motor and then I'll show you guys with the fan set let's first take this power supply board place it in the center and then what to do is we have this 25 centimeter female to male jumper wire we're going to connect this to the motor here you can see the terminals we're going to connect them there like this and then what we have to do is first let me check if this motor is working so what we are going to do is take any of the jumper wire here and connect one to the positive and the other one to the negative of the power supply board then let's connect the battery to see if this motor is working Yes guys, we can see the shaft turning around. Now let me disconnect this and connect the wheel to the shaft. Yes, it's done. Now what we're going to do is let's connect the battery to this power supply board. Before that, let's hold the motor safely. Connect this first. Now we can see that it's turning the anti-clockwise direction. Now what will happen if I, first let me remove this. What will happen if I connect this wires, this jumper wires in the opposite directions? Like what have connected the positive to the negative and what have connected the negative to the positive? Let's see that. Yes, now let me connect it to the battery. You can see it's turning in the clockwise direction. So what happens is that it turns in the opposite direction. That's all. Now let's try the same with the fan set. Let me remove this wheel. Let's take the fan set. Now what is inside this fan set? It basically has a fan, an acry acrylic washer, and then a screw. to fix the fan to the to the shaft and then we have a fiber washer let's connect this first let's place this acrylic washer and then the fan before fixing it with the screw we'll add the fiber washer here and then let's fix the screw Mm -hmm. 
and now let's plug this in with the battery you can see the fan is rotating now let's change now let's change it and see if it will rotate in the anti-clockwise direction yes. now let's supply this with the battery and you can see it turning in the anti-clockwise direction to summarize today in this video we saw how to work with a motor and how to connect the motor to a fan and also the wheel Thank you for watching. Now that you have learned the basics of working with a motor, you are ready to start experimenting and creating your own projects. Remember to follow the safety guidelines. Stay safe. If you guys like this video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Bye-bye.